Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of cancer for the week of August 4th. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others and for all the lovely comments as well and the thumbs up on the videos that you've watched. Thank you very much for that. All right, first card out. Ooh, beautiful. The sun card. There you go. Believing in yourself again, feeling inspired, moving forward. You're starting to enjoy yourself again. Maybe something has happened here for some of you that sort of, you know, run you down a little bit. But now you're the sun's out. You're feeling good. You're starting to feel inspired about doing the next step in your life. And you're off and running. So that's really good. Your health is starting to return. You're just feeling more in touch with what it is that you truly want. And the Queen of Rods, look at you. Yeah, you're up for an exciting adventure, you know, and you're taking action on it. For some of you, you're actually going to get um, a promotion, like ask that would you like to take on being a manager of something and it's going to be you know quite surprising to you but you know that you're more than capable of doing it because you want people to be up to your standards and the knight of swords yeah you're definitely taking action here there's travel maybe you're taking a trip unexpectedly and you know you've got an invitation and you just go for it you know, maybe you and your friends are getting together for a weekend and off you go. It is going to be so refreshing for you for this one time, you know, moving forward. Others of you, this is a relationship that has run its course. Now well, that can be in a job, families even, relatives, love lives, whatever it happens to be, co-workers. But you're understanding that you're driven to succeed this week and you're taking fast action and you're not allowing anything to slow you down. And for some that will probably upset them, but you know, if they're not keeping up with you, then you will be letting them go. Nada Rods, look at you taking that rapid action. You're motivated, you're taking swift changes, you're manifesting what it is you want in your life, you know exactly how to go about getting it, and taking those strip trips that you want, most of them are by air, unexpectedly, but it's for adventure. It's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And the Three of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely a celebration here. You've gotten an invitation, you know, somebody's gotten a hold of you. There's been some sort of communication for you to take part in something and you're very excited about doing it. And when you go, you're just going to feel at home again, you know, where you fit, you get along with people, people get along with you. Everybody's so happy to see you. It makes it feel like, you know, this celebration, whatever it is was almost thrown for you. That's how excited you're going to be about doing this. And the Two of Swords, and then you're gonna make a difficult decision. You know, you're weighing the options right now. Yeah, you're in many cases at a deadlock, which way to really go about this, but you know in your heart what is the right way for you. So you'll make that decision. It's not gonna be easy, but you're tired of not making it so that you can now continue on going forward. And the magician, and just like that, once you tap into your own potential, there's nothing going to hold you back. You know, you've made that difficult challenge, head on, made your choice, you're focused now in on yourself and what it is you want in your life and what you're bringing into your life, and you have so many um, realizations of your own true abilities. And that's what you're doing this week. You're taking charge, you're moving forward, 
and this is your shot at your new beginnings. Ooh, and judgment. That's all right. You know, if this is your rebirth, starting over. You know, this is a new phase in your life going forward. And it's just slowly awakening. You know, it's not here in full speed, but you've forgiven yourself. You've said what you need to do to get, you know, peace of mind for yourself. And you're taking action. You know, you're slamming the door. You're letting go of bad behavior, long time bad behavior, because you want things to change around you and you have to be the first one to do it. And that's what you're doing this week. You're healing yourself. You're listening to your intuitions because you know in your soul what is the right move for yourself. And the hermit. Yeah, definitely doing some soul searching. Really using all the wisdom that you have at your fingertips right now. And this can be wisdom that you've gained through your own knowledge or wisdom that you've gotten from other people who've been through certain things. But however you came into it, it's given you that time now to know what your next step is. And that's what you're doing. You're not comparing yourself to others. You're just using all that you have at your hands right now in order to make the next move going forward. So right now you're just taking that time out before you get back in the driver's seat and get going again. And the Page of Swords, yeah, stand in your ground. You know, you're gonna ruffle a few feathers here for some of you, but you're okay with it because it's your time to fly. And you know that, you know, you're letting go of people in your life that just aren't going anywhere. Not that you will totally, you know, never speak to them again, but it will probably be for quite some time. And in other cases, you will just let them slide away. You know, learning experience, old friends, all those sort of things. But you're definitely moving to a different drum this week. Ooh, nice night of cups. So there's definitely travel absolutely travel for use. You are all about moving, going forward, doing stuff differently, off the grid in some cases, just because you want to do it. And you're understanding that, why not? What are you waiting for? This could be the beginning of, you know, maybe you're offering assistance to somebody and that's how you meet a new person in your life. You know, you come to save the day maybe they broke down on the side of the road you give them a jump for their car whatever it happens to be you know and it can be so simple as in a coffee shop and you know they spill a coffee and you give them some napkins to wipe it up whatever it may be but somebody's coming in to save the day Ooh. and the rekindling for some of you. Now this could be the beginning of a new relationship that was a friendship at one time for some of you. Or this could be the beginning of a really strong, long lasting friendship for others. You know, you just, maybe you've known this person before and you sort of broke away and now you're coming back together and it just rekindles that memories and fun and all that sort of thing and, and you agree on so many things like you just mesh together so that's so nice to see this is a real connection for you and the two of rods yeah you're planning to make a move some of you are leaving a home that you know you've been at for a long time and it's time that you set yourself free like spread your wings and off you go this could be travel plans maybe you're thinking of travel abroad and you're looking into the possibilities prices availability all that sort of thing but you now got the world in your hand and your dreams are endless and that's what you're looking at what it is your next move which is really good for you 
All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card. Yours are all about movement. Making your choice, sticking to your guns, and then enjoy yourself for a little bit. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Perfect. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.